device for the reading of God's Word. Genesis chapter 2, verses 18 down to 24, the Word of the Lord says, Then the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. So the Lord God formed from the ground all the wild animals and all the birds of the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And the man chose a name for each one. He gave names to all the livestock, all the birds of the sky, and all the wild animals. But still there was no helper just right for him. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. While the man slept, the Lord God took out one of the man's ribs and closed up the opening. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib and he brought her to the man. At last, the man exclaimed, This one is bone from my bone and flesh from my flesh. She will be called woman because she was taken from the man.
side ko kayo. Sa second side ko. Second po. Second side.
times miscommunications, misunderstanding happens because we fail to listen correctly. We fail to listen correctly. Tanungin niyo itong mga nila na tinunong ninyo. Nag-aaway pa kayo sa bahay? Nag-aaway pa kayo? Kaming mag-asawa actually. My, my, my wife is there and our daughter. So tanungin niyo po kami, hindi po kami nag-aaway. Ito po ang nangyayari sa amin. We just have intense moments of fellowship. Hindi <laughs> kami nag-aaway. But we have that intense moments of fellowship. Medyo maganda siyang pakigan, right? right. Kaysa uh, away, discourses, arguments, debates. But actually, that's happened. Right? That happened. And, mangyayari at mangyayari lang yan. Lalo pang mangyayari yan. If we fail to listen correctly. So the first element of Godly marriage is communication. And here's the keys to have that communication. Listen to what was being said. Second, be open and honest in all you say. Be open and honest in all you say. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 22, it says, Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal faithfully are His delight. Psalm, Joanne, always tell the truth. Always tell the truth. Be honest about what you do. Be honest about what you feel. Where you go. What you think. Be honest. Be open and honest in all you say. Next. Think before you say. You want to develop godly communication? Think before you say. Proverbs 15, 18, it says, A hot-tempered man steers up stripes, but the slow to anger comes dispute. Proverbs 15, 1 also says, A gentle answer turns away back, but a harsh word steers up anger. Think before you say. Sometimes, mabilis yung sabi ng teacher lang sa Philippine, hindi daw bu bunganga ang dapat gabitin. Medyo mabilis yung bunganga daw natin. No? Medyo mabilis yung uh, bibig natin. Yung tanga. Mas mabilis kaysa mag-isip. Usually, the house, in the family, in your relationship, mas mabilis magsalita. Mas mabilis magpuna. Mas mabilis magjudge. Medyo malina ang pag-iisip. But in a Godly communication, think before you say. Next one, be kind in what you say. Be kind in what you say. Proverbs 12.25, it says, Anxiety in a man's heart weighs it down. But a good word, listen, a good word makes it glad. Colossians 3.8 also says, But now you also put them all aside, anger, wrath, malice, slander. Take note, abusive speech from your mouth. Sometimes the problem is not on what you say. Rather, it is how you say it. We have good intention. Actually, we have good intention. But most of the time, it is misinterpreted because it is the way you say it. Kaya kami ng mga sigwano, medyo nami misinterpret kami. Dahil ang lakas ng bilis namin pang salita, malakas pa boses namin. Nagagalit ka ba? Hindi. Magpapaliwanag lang. But regardless of the culture, in the home, in your relationship, be kind in what you say. The next one, and I think the last, say kind things. Say kind things. Listen to Proverbs 27 verse 5. Better is open rebuke 
the love that is conceived. Be careful always because it is not just how we say it, it is the content as well. No matter how we careful how we say it, what to say, sometimes speak to the heart and mind of your partner. The content of what you say. Those were the keys of family communication. So I hope and I pray that in the process of time in your life, being together, both of you will develop, will discover, and learn the proper time, the proper place, and the proper attitude to communicate. Amen? Not just communication. Another element of that in marriage is commitment. Communication and commitment. Commitment. To take care of each other is very important. Faithfulness to your partner, faithfulness to your wife and your husband is a must. Later, we are going to be witnesses as you share your vows to each other. But during this occasion, during this occasion, we always heard statements like, in richer, in poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. That is actually commitment. And we heard that over and over again, with the same occasion like this. Let's not and pray that after this celebration, as you start being together until Christ returns. Let us put that in our heart and your mind. That despite of what is going to happen, you, Samuel and Joel, are committed to each other, faithful to each other. Marriage is a wonderful craft. It's a beautiful expression of love. God is revealed through this relationship. God is revealed through the promises that you are making today. Can you imagine from different personality, different family background, grow up from different environment, and coming together and become as one. What a beautiful artwork, right? What a beautiful expression. That is why you need to take it by heart. Take it by heart. Let your love relationship be rooted to commit to one another, even during comfortable and uncomfortable circumstances. Samuel and Joanne, marriage is for life. Mar marriage is for life. Both of you should commit or promise to go through everything together as one before the Lord. Malachi chapter 2 verse 16 says, For I hate divorce, says the Lord, the God of Israel. I do not know what is your viewpoint about divorce. But God says, I hate divorce. And according to stats, here are three common reasons for divorce. First, adultery. That's why you have to be faithful to one another. Sinabi ko sa kanila, the, the word of God says, love one another. Amen? Hindi sinabi ng Bible, love another one. Be faithful to one another. Because three common reasons for marriage, adultery. Second, unreconcil unreconcilable differences. And abuses. But if you are honest believers of Christ, His truth will set you free and protect both of you from destructive elements of your relationship. That's why you commit to one another. Be committed to one another till death to us. That is the second element of that marriage.
The first one is communication. And I provided for you kids to have good and godly communication. The second is uh, commitment. Now the third element of godly marriage is Christ. Communication, commitment, and Christ. Christ Jesus. There could be no other, or there could be no better relationship if Jesus Christ is the center of that relationship. Amen? There could be no better home than having Jesus Christ in your home. You know what? Ungodly family adds up to the problem of the society. But godly family builds up society. Amen. Psalms 127 verse 1 says, Unless the Lord build the house, they labor in vain who build it. Marriage exists for God's glory. Ideally, marriage is a representation of the future marriage that is going to happen. The marriage suffered of the land. It is where the church as the bride and Jesus as the groom. Some way, someday, Jesus and the church will be united, will be in one. And this is it. This is the picture on earth of that relationship, of that marriage. And that is the intention. That is the intention why we are having this, why we are witnessing this beautiful union of Joanne and Samuel. For us to be reminded that as a church, someday we will be married to Christ. With that, I will reiterate the seven I am's of Jesus Christ. The seven I am of Jesus Christ. This is very important to note because it will address, it will trigger the scarcities of whatever relationships we have. Listen to the seven I am of Jesus Christ. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will not hunger, and he who believes in me will never thirst. Hunger and thirst are one of the basic needs of man. Tama ba? Basic needs to be addressed. And only Jesus can offer that hunger, spiritual hunger, spiritual thirst. That's why he said, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me with me will not hunger. And he who believes in me will never thirst. That is John 6, 35. In John 8, 12, he says, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have light of life. In John 10, verse 9, I am the door. If anyone enters through me, he will be saved and will not go in and out and find passion. In John chapter 10, verse 11, he said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. In John 11, 35, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies. John 14, 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In John 15, 1, he said, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Marriage was instituted by God, and as a result, he wants us to discover the completeness of marriage. He wants us to discover the completeness of marriage. And Jesus Christ is still the answer for whatever needs we have. Whether it is financially, whether it is materially, whether it is spiritually, always remember, that's why it is the third, and I believe it's not the least of all the elements of that marriage. 
Jesus Christ is still the answer for all the world. Scarcity. By God's grace, let your life together as husband and wife. And later as family, and the family of you, be an avenue where Jesus Christ be made known. A married life is carry out a great commission, which is to go and make disciples to all nations. So those are three elements of that difference. Ano nga yung kalipo na yun? Communication, commitment, and Christ. Maraming ka pong iba. You discover it by yourself. Thank you, Lord, for your word this morning. Bless it in our hearts. Say Jesus' name. Ngayon, pinigil ko kayo tumayo. Tawakan niyo ang uh, inyong mga kamay at tingnan ang isa sa mata. Smile. Sa palang duwan, Remember that your future happiness is to be in youthful consideration, patience, kindness, confidence, and affection. It is the duty of each of you to find the greatest joy in the company of the other. Remember that the love lives today must remain undivided for a life. Someone, it is your duty to be the true one. A considerate, tender, faithful, and loving husband to support, guide, and cherish her in prosperity and trouble, to thoughtfully and carefully enlarge the place she holds in your life, to constantly show her the token of your affection, to shelter her from danger, and to love her with an unchangeable love. Kaya mo? Kaya mo ba? Ay mo. Ay mo, mamaya mo yung ay mo. Yan ang talaga mag-live. Jawan, ikaw naman ang jawan. It is your duty to be to someone, a considerate, tender, faithful, and loving wife. To comfort, guide, and cherish him in prosperity and trouble. To give him the unfailing evidences of your love. And to continue making the place he holds in your heart. Broader, deeper. To support him, value him, and work with him to make your marriage the very best that it can be. Yes, sir. Yes, that's the Mari mo na kayo. Thank you. Kasapin mo yung mga magulang nyo. Inihilig mo na tumayo ang mga magulang ng isang mga nyo. In the past, you have known someone and Joan as individual persons. Now, they are joined together in Matthew. Your main role with the relationship of these two individuals is to give them your continuous blessing as they start a family of their own, committing themselves to one another from here and forward. Respect the priority of this new relationship. Always assure them of your continuing love, good wishes, and prayers and encourage them and affirm them as they gave their life to them. Huwag po kayong mag-alala. Hindi kayo mag-alala na lang. Natagpagal pa. God bless you. Thank you. Hindi mahali ako sa mga. Kapula uli ako. Mabulang ka. To the principal sponsors, hindi hindi ko mag-alala. 
नहीं जाने When we concentrate in accurate the sponsors of this wedding, we are not just witnesses of the wedding, but we become the second parent. Therefore, we have much responsibility to them. I charge you now to act as caring and loving parents to someone and to one. To assist, to assist them in their needs, both material and spiritual. And do all you can to provide them an example. Provide them an example and counsel that they need in their life together. Hindi ko po alam kung anong nakita ni Samuel at ang religion sa inyo. Bakit niya tayo pinili na magiging second but I do believe with the individualities that you have, with the, the characters, attitudes, and the, how we deal with people. May nakita si Juan at sa si Samuel po sa atin. Bakit ayaw mo nun? Nakatayo, have a pledge to God to become a second parent of Samuel and Juan. Gampanan po natin ang pag-ibig, pangalawang ama at ina ni Samuel at Pagando. Kaya po ba natin kalindigan yan? In the embrace of it. God bless us. You may not say this. Hindi pa nito ba yung kayo ngayon? The vows you are about to take are not to be taken without careful thought. For in them, you are committing yourselves exclusively to one another for as long as you both shall live. Samuel and Joel, I ask you now in the presence of God Almighty and these witnesses to declare your intention to enter into union with one another. Through the grace of Jesus Christ, propels you in the union with Himself. Someone, will you have the one to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. I do. <laughs> Joel, will you have someone to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Ladies and gentlemen, let us be witnesses the same day as Samuel and Joel share their vows to one another. Thank you. 
kasama We think to face each other. From the earliest time, the circle has been a sign of completeness. The rings that you have chosen to wear have neither beginning nor end, much like we love to one another. They are symbol of the words that you have spoken today. May these rings be from this day forward your most treasured adornment. And may the love they symbolize your most precious possession. As you wear these rings, may they be a constant reminder of these glad promises you are making today. These rings are the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to us the union between Jesus Christ and His Church. Pag nagkagibitan na, huwag yung mag-isang lalito. Someone place the ring on someone's ring finger and we think up them. I, I, give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love, love and faithfulness. And with all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
on someone's ring finger and repeat after. I. I. Your hand and Give you this ring. Give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. All that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. Wala po dyan sa program, pero gusto nila iyan. And let me say this. Money is not the root of all evil. Tama? Money is not the root of all evil. The Bible says, it is the love of money. Ngayon sa mga ito, ngayon ko ito sa iyo. Pero bago mo ibigay ito kay Jowa, may sasabihin ako. May katanungan ako dapat yung sagutin. May not now, sagutin niyo sa isa't isa. Kung sino ang uh, mapagkatiwalaan sa inyong dalawa. Sino ang pwedeng hahawak ng pera? Kasi ang issue sa mga mag-asawa kung sino maghawak ng pera sa bahay. Para sa akin, yung marunong magmamalingkin. Yung marunong magpadjet. Yun. Ang hahawak ng pera. Tama. Kung ikaw na laki na hindi marunong magmamalingkin, do not insist, do not insist to hold the money. Nowadays, coins 
are a beautiful reminder of good stewardship. For all couples, for all couples. Why? Because they should share mutual accountability. They should share mutual responsibilities. Lalo na pagtanggaan ang anak kayo. Si Samuel at saka si Juan. Ay si Samuel, unang uh, 12 sila. Isang kusina. And I praise the Lord how the parents feed them with all the tears and love and uh, sustain, uh, sustain them. Si Juan naman, apat sila. Tinanong ko sila kung ilan yung gusto nila na anak. Ang sabi nila ay 12 plus 4. At pala yung sinabi nila ay apa. Apa. Sabi ng Juan, maraming nasisira na pamilya dahil hindi nila napagpanto at hindi nila nabigyan ng importansya and they were never accountable and responsible for me. Sana, as you start to render your life from this day forward, it is my prayer that money will not ruin your relationship. May God bless you and may God bless your business. Ibigay mo kay Juan, no? Or ito ano ba ako? Na kay Juan, ha? Okay. Ito sasabihin mo kasi binigay mo kay Juan. Where's the mic? Repeat after me. Juan, or nanay, nai, I give you this coin as a pledge of my dedication to your welfare. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your May ask the male and the board sponsor to join us and lay the pain and court over to close this couple and invite them to the
also to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his own wife, he who loves his own wife, loves himself. For to no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as Christ also does the church. Let the day remind you that you belong to each other and to no one else. Mary is the Lord, sponsor, to bind the hope. Symbolizes an infinite bond we love you share. That keeps your relationship strong in the face of adversity. As well as that you are both no longer two, but one in marriage. May this word, may this word remind you to face life together courageously and be mutual in support of each other in carrying out your duties and responsibilities before them. And before others, as a problem, by you through the years. As we proceed, let us begin this yesterday. As Samuel and Joel will now sign their marriage certificate. And after the couple signed the certificate, the principal sponsors will be called to affix your or their signature.
Church. It's a beautiful picture of your great love for the church. This is the very purpose why you and Samuel be married to Joan because this is as the architect of marriage. They are confident that you will go with them in this uh, journey of marriage. As the minister had said a while ago, that there is no perfect marriage. They can work out this marriage with a beautiful picture of living together with Christ. Father, grant them the grace they need to go through all these problems, all the trials, testings in their life. Thank you, Lord, that we can work out this marriage in the midst of these trials together with God, together with thy spirit. Father, we thank you for this very day that we can witness the union of Sam and Joan. We thank you, Lord, for friends, relatives, and loved ones who have come. Thank you, Lord, for paving the way for those who have come from afar. And today, we would like to, to return to you, Sam and Joan, as they start their journey. As the married couple, they are no longer two but one. Father, we ask now that you will continue to use this relationship as a blessing to others, especially to other couples. Those couples may be their relationship is now on the rock. We pray that you will use them, Lord, to inspire and encourage those couples that the marriage is indeed a lifetime partnership. Salamat pa yun noon dahil ito po ay regalo from you, the partner or the companion in life. Thank you Lord for they can enjoy life together with the plan to give them the offspring. 
express their desire to have children. Lord, we assure you that it is our prayer that we will plant the desire of their hearts that someday there might be parents who lie in the family of Nathan to raise up children so that they will be fulfill your purpose in this marriage. So that would be one day and they can go through these uh, hardships in marriage together with you by providing them their needs, their physical needs, as well as their moral needs, especially Lord with their these principal sponsors who are present today. They are their second parents. May their lives will be a channel of blessing to this couple. Again, thank you, Lord, for the blessing of the ceremony. We are about to end, and we'd like to give you the praise and the honor. Lord, sanctify this marriage. Set it apart for your glory and honor. Please be committed in the name of our greatest lover, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This beautiful union is now symbolized by the lighting of the unity candle. Somewhere in Chowan, the individual candles, nakita niyo sa inyong masahalap, the individual candles represent all that you are and all that we have until this moment. Today, as they lit the unity candle, may the brightness of the flame shine throughout your lives together. Pwede niyang sitihan ang kandida na nasa gitna.
Parents are always parents. Worthy to be revealed. Worthy of praise and respect. As you start building your own family and become parent in the near future, it is always good and godly to look after them and honor them. Honor your parents with your care and support. Ladies and gentlemen, let's listen to them as they honor their parents. Push us to get married as soon as possible. 
segundo. Thank you so much po sa pag-raise ng Godly Man. Thank you so much sa support po ninyo sa, sa love life namin. And salamat po for being supportive hanggang um, simula una hanggang ngayon po. Salamat po. I love you both. Samuel and Joel, you have declared your consent and vows before God Almighty and face congregation. May God confirm your covenant and pay you both with praise. Now, may the authority vested in me by the Republic of the Philippines and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, my honor, my delight, to pronounce you husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. You may now seal this declaration with a kiss. You may now kiss your wife.
natin. Sir Jason? Yes, Sir Jason, pwede ka pala mag ano, mag uh, spotlight bukas. Yes po. Sino, sino po yung mga sa spotlight yung mga importanteng tao or yung kay Ma'am Joke Bet lang na live? Okay, ang pagkakaintindi ko ay Ma'am Joke Bet lang kasi yun lang i-popost lang natin sa FB, di ba? E-stream. Mukhang ganun lang. Sir, ako na lang din po magsa-spotlight. Ikaw na lang rin, sige. Kasi lumalabas yung reason kung bakit mo imamali o barayan is because... Nga ba? Oo, oh, yun lang naman actually. Sa kasabi ni ma'am, parang ano eh. Mukhang magiging cameraman ka rin ha. Taga screenshot ka. <laughs> Apo sir. <laughs> Kaya lang, parang wala akong marinig na sounds eh. Paano kaya ito? May sounds ba sila? Parang meron kanina eh. Pero po sir, kaso maina. Hindi hmm. ko lang kung may external mic po ba si Ma'am Jokibet para mas maganda sana yung tunog. Pero kung yung phone lang, hindi ako sigurado sir. Yung external mic na yun, ano yun? Uh, parang USB? Didikit mo rin lang sa phone? Opo sir, yung mga ginagamit po. Parang, parang siyang... Para siyang sa, para din po yung sa computer. Pagtuturo, parang gano'n. Oo nga, no? Kasi kung phone lang, malabo nga eh. Siguro sir, malakas yan bukas, baka may sound system sila. Eh hey no, parang mahina eh no? Hindi na pipick up. O nga, nakamike na si Ma'am Jokebet, hindi pa rin naririnig. Paano kaya yun? <laughs> 